Hey guys, welcome to apartment 5A, located right here on West 136th Street and Broadway. This neighborhood known as Hamilton Heights is a historic district and definitely a neighborhood that I think anyone, especially you, would enjoy living in. And as we enter this one bedroom, one bathroom apartment, you will notice just the, the detail that these owners added to the space to make it their own. For example, the door right here, these hinges, this is magnetic. Look at that right here. That alone is a great selling point in my opinion for this apartment. But as we enter to our left, we have a great coat closet slash shoe closet or whatever closet that you need it to be. You can utilize the space greatly. Uh, as you see, the owners here added a little bit of extra storage and it still doesn't make the apartment or this foyer feel crowded. And it's a nice pantry um, across from the kitchen to our right, which is a really large kitchen and a great space for a one bedroom apartment. There's enough space for two people to be in here, one cutting up vegetables, the next one over here on the stove doing the thing. It's wide enough that no one would feel cramped or bump into each other. Plenty of counter space right here is the original granite countertop. Obviously, if this is not your style, you can definitely change it, no problem. But what's matter is the space and the bones, and it's very eclectic, so this might be your groove, this might be your style. You have a really good deep sink right here, cabinets above, storage below, full range appliances, gas stove, everything you could possibly need in the closet. And I like this nice touch. Uh, and we can negotiate, the sellers might leave the shelving right here, but it's really good to display your glassware and your metalware as well, you know, whatever close your boat, whatever you have. And across we have everyone's favorite feature, what everyone in New York City is looking for when they're buying an apartment or renting is voila, full size laundry closet. Got your washer, I think, and a dryer below. I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's like the old school one, but you have this in your apartment and above you have more storage for extra things that you need, cleaning supplies, whatever it is. Um, I also forgot to mention that you have this great breakfast bar right here off the kitchen that flows into the living space that we'll talk about soon. Um, to our right, there's some more extra storage that the sellers added because it's New York City and you can never have enough storage space, but it doesn't make the face feel cramped. It flows right in from the entrance into the apartment. Now right here, we're in this large living space. As you can see, they have a nice piano right here off to the, to the left, to my left, of the apartment and artwork above, which is really nice. This is kind of its own corner, own space. And then you flow into the rest of the living room where you can definitely fit a full living room suite, couch, chair, large TV right here on the wall. But the best part of this living room right here, look, 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 look. This is a super large window. It's not floor to ceiling, but it's so large, you get a great light. And look at the trees blooming in the spring, summertime. This is gonna be a great view for half the year at least. And then in the fall, you're gonna get even more light because the leaves are gone. So this is a great view. It's like once you walk into the apartment, this is the first thing you see. And I think that's a great feeling when you come home from a long day and you just wanna cop a squat on the couch and just relax. And even just stare out the window and just look at the clouds and just muse about life and a long day and how why do you live in the city because it's so expensive because it's the best city ever so as we move forward out of the living space which again super awesome set up your game console right here we have a work from home space for one of the owners who works from home so you have a nice setup and it's away from the bedroom and the kitchen so it feels like you can go to work right here in the living room when you're done swing around hop on the couch watch tv after so across we have the bathroom it's a bathroom, it's functional. You have a sink, no storage under, but you definitely can add that if you wanna change the sink out, but you do have your medicine cabinet. It's a great size bathtub, um, subway tile backsplash, a name, I forgot the name for a second. This cool mosaic, I don't know if that's the proper word. Am I saying that right? Tile on the floor, which is pretty awesome as well. It kind of gives the, the bathroom that subway tile mosaic feel just the patterns work with back and forth but it's a great space in the bathroom and you can make it whatever you want but i think it's fine just the way it is when you move in this is a great starter apartment for anyone that's looking to get into the market now follow me into this really great bedroom super large lots of space you can fit a king size bed in here and again you have that same great view as the living room in the bedroom as well now imagine just waking up to this in the morning 
Now that's awesome. You wake up and you just greet it with trees, maybe some birds chirping. Maybe you again sit up on the bed and muse about the day ahead. Whatever it is, it's great. It's a good sized room. And I know it's a good sized room because there's a Peloton bike in here. And you know you have a good sized bedroom when you can roll out of bed and then hop on the Peloton, get rest, get fit. You know, you can use the bedroom for many things to utilize it. And that's a great way to utilize this space. Um, large closet and you have storage above. These sellers have really great taste. Look at the artwork that just pops. It just shows you what you can do with the space. Um, you can fit a dresser in here as they also have a dresser and a printer if you need to have a printer in the bedroom. But it's a good size space and it'll be more than enough for two people to be comfortably have their things in here, etc. Right here on the wall, you notice this cool round gadget. This is the Nest temperature control system. There's also one in the living space. So each room can be their own temperature. It can be 78 degrees in here because you're always cold and then your partner is always warm. So there's that to be like 60 degrees over there, but it's really pretty awesome. It's connected to that over there, which is the heating and cooling system throughout the entire apartment. So that's the apartment, 636 square feet, one bedroom, one bathroom, now in the market for $625,000. Now let's go check out the amenities. The views of Midtown on this roof deck are awesome. Just look at that view, take it in. After a long day, just come up here, relax, sit in your chair, look at the view and continue to muse about life. And there's a lot of musing happening in this video about life as you look at Billionaire's Row. Like one day I'm gonna live in one of those towers, but I think it's better not to live in there and just enjoy the view from this roof deck and this apartment that you should buy because outdoor space is so important and it's nice to have one. So not only do you have an awesome roof deck with great views of Midtown, you also have your own gym. So when you wake up in your new beautiful one bedroom apartment on the fifth floor, you can come down here in the basement and work out. And it's not dark like in some buildings where it's a dungeon and there's no light. You have great lights coming out here from the courtyard, which we'll check out next. But you have everything you can possibly need. You have the treadmill, so get up in the morning, start your sleepy jog, and then once you get into it, you can hit that real sprint. And then you have your bike. If you're not a runner, or maybe you want to do both. I started doing both recently at the gym. I run like a mile on the treadmill, then hop on the bike and do my thing. And then over here, you have all your free weights for you know those of us who might not believe in machine weights or whatnot. But you have everything you can possibly need up to Ooh, 40 pounds, you know, get your curl on and you have a mirror so you can look at yourself because working out is a very visual thing. And you kind of want to see the gains. So you have all the equipment, you have your ab ball, you have your dip, thingamajiggy. Look at all the equipment you have in a gym like this. You get it in, get your dips, get them going real good and all of that. And then this machine over here, I'm gonna be with you. Not sure what you call this. It's like a Smith machine, but not really. But you have all these exercises on here. Chest, lat pull down, leg extension, standing curl, squat, etc. All the things that you can do and need in a possible gym. And this thing where it mimics running, but you're kind of doing, let me just show it to you guys. Just in case you're not a gym person, but it's like this, like that. And that's what you do in the gym. So after you're finished your workout, you make your rounds. Now you can go out into this great courtyard, which you're gonna check out next. So right here, we're out in the courtyard, just off the gym that we just did our nice little workout in. And I'm gonna come out here and you can relax. You hear birds chirping. It's sem it's not super private because you do have windows in other buildings, but it's private enough where you can hang out here, relax. You have tables and chairs to sit, eat with your friends, have a little barbecue out here. Summertime is around the corner. So you're definitely gonna wanna have some outdoor eating events. There's a grill covered over there at the end, other end of the courtyard and that's usable for all the tenants in the building. So not only do you have a roof deck, a gym, you also have an outdoor courtyard to enjoy. If the roof is too crowded, there's a lot of people out here and you just wanna come sit, enjoy the oasis, a little bit of garden that you see around you. It's a great space to have because outdoor space is super important nowadays because you all wanna be in more green spaces. And the apartment is only asking $625,000. Now on the market, reach out to me, Daryl Williams, 646-319-7740 if you'd like to take a tour of this awesome apartment. Peace.